Come check out the newest expansions for the Rune Wars Faction to Can. Talking bits. What's up, Homie Maniacs? Rob Bear back again with you today, checking out the latest and greatest existing upgrades well i guess we got two that came in the starter set for the decan and one new hero expansion for these bad boys now there is a lot more stuff on the horizon we've seen a lot more from gen con and such but we're just kind of getting caught up with the existing stuff that they put out and there's there's a lot of great expansions out there so uh now is <laughs> one of the best times to get into rune wars pick a faction of course they got the latari uh we know there's more actually coming out here soon so it's an exciting game it plays a a lot like uh, a cross between old school Warhammer for uh, fantasy and X-Wing miniatures if you like those two games well I definitely I uh, cannot say enough good things about Rune Wars one of my one of my favorite new uh, kind of alternate games that, that, that are out there I definitely have a lot of fun playing this one so first up we've got the Rune Golems unit expansion set now this one's a little pricey it's $34.95 the Spearman unit expansion is $24.95, and the brand new Lord Hawthorne hero expansion is $24.95 uh, from them as well. Now, these two units here did come in the starter. You will get alternate sculpts in these box sets here. You can see this is the existing Rune Golem that came in the starter. This is the alternate sculpt, and then there's also some alternate Spearman sculpts in here. So let's break them down one by one. I don't want to get too far into each each one's like uh, unit tactics and, and stuff like that or you know breaking down all the cards and things because this is uh, this is a game that's like kind of still evolving and there's still a lot of uh, stuff out there but basically when you pick up one of these expansions you will get a whole lot of stuff in here so you're gonna get all of the little uh, um, models themselves their movement trays the little dials their card their command card thing uh, and then the instructions on how to actually put them together. When you check out their dials, that's kind of where it starts to, to kind of come into play and you start kind of start to understand maybe some of the mechanics of how this particular unit is going to work on the tabletop itself besides like the upgrade cards and such. So here you can see uh, your action and your modification dial uh, right here that's going to give you an idea of you know the speeds and stuff that things will happen at when you select their actions. Let's move all that out of the way. Uh, then we're gonna have some upgrade cards and such for them as well. So let's take a look at the Spearman right here. Kind of give you an idea of what you're gonna see with these guys. So here's the diagram on their action dial and their mod dial right here at their particular speeds. And then remember too that you're gonna have to match up the colors, the wild card of course, uh, being your special ability over here. So this is gonna, gonna kind of give you some ideas on what you can do, what marches you can do, what melees you can do, have uh, extra abilities here. Like if you wanna do melee at uh, initiative seven, well, you'll get an extra attack in there, but we all know initiative seven. Well, that's uh, that's that, that's towards the end. These guys might not last, so you want to plan out your actions accordingly, right there. Now, as far as the Spearman card upgrade goes, well, we saw this in the starter, so nothing new right there. It's going to uh, melee two surge or seem one inspiration token. We all know that's how you get rid of banes and stuff like that. Uh, for your costs here, two trays is going to cost you 18, but then you get a bonus the more you get. And of course, the more you have, the more available upgrade cards you're going to be able to equip to your squads right there. And speaking of upgrade cards, here's what comes in the set itself. Now, some of these we've seen in the past. Some of these we actually think we've seen all of these. Yep, we sure have. We've seen, I don't think any of these are new. So specific wise... It doesn't look like any of these are specific to the Decan faction themselves. Any of these can be used by any faction that has access to these upgrade slots in uh, their card right here, just like you see. So I'll just leave them up there so you can check them out. Of course, Meter March is pretty good. Triumph and Cry, being able to reform is pretty good. Um, initiative of your blue actions decreased by one. Well, that could get you some speed, some speed abilities off pretty quick depending on what you're trying to do there. Uh, now, the models themselves go together pretty easily. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time showing you those, but if you're unfamiliar with the models and haven't checked these guys out, well, they're not very hard to put together. 
they just they're just kind of squeezed together right here they are kind of not necessarily that multi-part plastic that we're used to with like thing uh, games like games workshop and things but their detail is definitely getting better on FFG's models and we've seen with the most recent releases that the detail in the quality is definitely up to par now these guys could go together really quick just have to throw some primer on them there's a lot of paint guides you can check out army painter um, they have a bunch of paint guides for how to get these guys together there's some stuff over on FFG site as well so very easy to paint and get your armies up and going for masked block combat uh, with rune wars right here okay so let's check out the next expansion from this faction and here they are, the Rune Goms. These guys are actually really fun to play with in game. Their, their attacks and their abilities have a lot to do with the magical runes that are uh, on the table. So you definitely want to be able to try to set your runes and your magic uh, ability and play kind of play off that. That's really what sets these guys apart. I mean, I, I like just playing with uh, big baddies and big big kind of monsters in, in any game and and having these guys uh, available to play just is super fun now figure assembly wise they go together pretty easily we saw in the past uh, this guy was in the starter that guy right there is the one in the starter so let's see how easy this model goes together actually I think it was this one but well it doesn't matter you will see how very truly easy these things are to put together and assemble and there's this extra arm oh, whoops that goes over here sometimes it's easier there you go so within two seconds we <laughs> we have assembled the miniature right there boom and you might want to go in and hit up some oh i don't know like some of the flash or something but i mean it's not it's not really that mission critical when it comes to uh, these guys right here they paint up very well very easy to put together and I mean it's it doesn't take much to get these guys painted now room golem wise they're gonna give you two cards here it's the same card that we saw in the past from the starter right there one tray costs 17 to 28 and of course there's discounts as further you go up and then additional available upgrades uh, special ability wise here whenever an enemy unit equipped uh, engage with you will receive how many? So which, which magic is that? That is stable energy stun tokens. Brutal when attacking, your threat is increased by stable energy. So the key to this guy, stable energy, when you see a lot of stable energy runes come up, well, you know it's about to get real. Time to pop off and uh, do your thug fizzle with him because he can do a lot of damage. Now, upgrade card wise, I think it comes with eight. Yeah, eight new upgrade cards. It looks like four of these are specific to the faction which are going to be oh his frontline card so so those are going to be the same so he can be he you can equip him in units like we saw in the past with any hero uh and he has a very similar ability for less points of course right there but you're only going to get to choose from one of them so those are specific to of course that faction right there and then you can also get mastercraft of weapons the wind rune for that speed two wind runes and the bull pennion which is uh impact when you collide with an enemy during a charge that unit receives one panic token for uh three right there so very interesting upgrades as far as he goes now i don't think he's uh, i don't think he's bad to, to take in your army personally uh, i definitely recommend taking one if you play the starter the starter army well he comes in that and he is uh pretty good now um as far as let's look at his dollar real quick for y'all so at initiative three, he activates special, which is going to do that ability that we just saw right there. He also has a shield modifier that's going to give you additional um, additional armor based on the runes that are showing. And at five, he has a melee. He's going to march uh, six. What is that? Oh, at four, he's going to march a total of stable energy. And at eight, he's marching two. 
Uh, he'll be able to charge, of course, with either of those moves if you want. It looks like he's only ever able to perform a charge. Well, I suppose you could pair that with a, with a rally or a reform over here, kind of depending on what you're trying to do. Remember, you have to match colors, but white is the universal, so you don't necessarily have to charge with them. But if you do, well, right there, you know, you can get a combo off depending on what the runes are showing right there. So again, great model, great looking, uh, great looking model, great unit in the tabletop itself. And coming up next will be our hero of the day. So Lord Hawthorne is a new hero expansion. He's relatively a uh, newer sculpt than what we've seen with the, uh, the other two expansions right there. And like his counterpart for the war car, he's gonna come with some terrain, an additional scenario, an additional deployment, uh, he also has two different versions of him, mounted and unmounted right there. Now, of course, he looks great all painted up, but of course, we know that's not the case. <laughs> they do require assembly and paint as well. So speaking of assembly of the miniature, here he is right here. Now, this is one of the very first miniatures we've seen, uh, new sculpt-wise, where I feel like the detail is a lot better than the initial stuff. I know there's a lot of haters out there for these miniatures but i don't know i mean that looks pretty crisp to me and there isn't a whole lot of flash i mean right along that edge right there but not any more than you would expect to trim off something you purchased from like i don't know like games workshop or, or something like that i mean as far as you know putting it together I, I mean it couldn't be simpler like seriously like you just you literally push fit it together and it doesn't look bad like Okay, well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a little too fidgety right there. But you kind of get the idea. It doesn't take much to put this guy together and get him all... Oh, I guess that was his terrain. That explains a lot. Or is it like this? Either way, I digress. I'm just having fun putting miniatures together at this point. Pew, pew. Uh, let's see. So, like that there it is look at that that's a good looking mini i don't care what anybody has to say that that blade would paint up well all this looks good you can base it well of course it goes into the uh, little unit tray right there this guy goes into here he can be a um you know uh what do they call that a unit upgrade that you can put into an existing tray of infantry men and then this guy goes on uh the base right over there as well of course, he's got his sword behind him, all Master of the Universe style, which is really neat. Okay, let's talk about abilities here. Now, he's going to come with some upgrades. Like I said, you can field him in an infantry uh, kind of format if you want. There's his card with his abilities. So one tray costs 34. He has access to those upgrades right there. You may reconfigure the tray in each of your units before setup. No unit may have more than four trays wide or four trays deep after reconfiguring. And each rank must be a full rank. Ability-wise, melee, double surge, receive one inspiration token. After you perform a melee, you may perform a melee against another enemy that has not been targeted by your melee disactivation. Cool. Special ability-wise, each other ally at range 1 to 3 receives one inspiration token. And he's brutal 1, so he's got lots of attacks. One white dice, get that chance for that mortal strike. And one red right there for his melee. Uh, three armor, four wounds right there. Meeting engagement is the card he comes with. Here's your scenario, and Stronghold looks to be a two, counts as a hill, counts as a fortress. There's those right there, and then it's going to come with that in the box as well, so they're roughly this big, about the same size as the box itself. Upgrade-wise, uh, let's see, what's he got? So he's going to have some specific ones, which are going to be him himself. He's got the Dawn Blade. Choose an enemy engage with you. That enemy suffers damage equal to the threat you spent for Surge. For each Surge you spent, rather. Okay, that's cool. Uh, he's got a shield. And then him himself can be that character upgrade token right there for, what, 22? What is he normally? We just looked at that. So he's 34, or he can be 22 to put into an upgrade. He's got another upgrade card. Defense is increased by 1. And your front range is treated as treating a front range sweeping strikes for five. Lord Hawthorne only. Wow, okay. That's that's really interesting. 
So he's got some really interesting uh, upgrade cards here. He isn't, as ca he isn't a caster as such, but he's definitely a kind of uh, Billy Badass like beatdown kind of uh, master right there. So that's really neat to see. Like I said, a lot of these sculpts are really coming on uh, into their own, and I feel like they have done nothing but improve uh, over time with these sculpts and the rules mechanic for uh, the new expansions coming out of Rune Wars there. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed our look at the latest from the Dak Han faction of Rune Wars. If you like our features here on this channel, make sure you subscribe to us. Turn notifications on so you can be the very first to like and comment on our videos here. And head on over to the longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today.